Afternoon everybody. We're filming on location inside of the house. And today's project is I finally bought myself an inexpensive welding table. Let's see if I can turn it around so you can see. It's the uh, Harbor Freight Chicago Electric Portable Adjustable Foldable Welding Table, which is nice because when it's not in use, I can get it out of the way. But let's get the box open and see what we got inside there. I know a lot of us home welder types, if you will, don't always have the best equipment and facilities for welding. I know a lot of times I wind up just welding on the garage floor when I'm trying to build a small part or something. A lot of times welding on the garage floor is hard, you can't see as well, it hurts. definitely a lot of advantages to welding on a table, especially a purpose-made table. Empty box. A handle do not lift. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit of assembly required. So far, from what I can see of it. It looks like the uh, fit and finish of the uh, parts doesn't look too bad at all. Little scratches here and there, but. get welding spatter and stuff all over it anyway so I don't know that it really matters if it's got a few scratches here and there Whew. I first saw this and I thought there might only been one in there we need two of these the old box knife blades just about done for okay Getting into the table itself. Oops. Not quite sure what these are for yet. Retractable edge guides. So it looks like we got to build the vertical posts. Then attach the vertical post to the support legs. There's a lot of some assembly required. Okay, I'm going to start putting this together. This might be one of those videos where you get fast forwarded a lot. So the top dimensions are, uh, looks like 30 by 20 we'll call it, and the table height is almost 33 inches. Maximum weight capacity is 350 pounds, which that actually sounds like quite a bit to me. Okay, so there's a nut welded right here. This goes opposite of that nut there. 
So it's going to go on this side. Both is going to go in from this side. And a nut. And a washer. Trusty metric adjustable. Attach the two angle brackets. Vertical posts. It doesn't say to tighten that stuff down, but it only makes sense to me that this should be tightened down just enough to where it can still move. Everything is real as it is. Some people complain you show too much. Some people complain you don't show enough. So this is a tool hanger, this piece right here, which it's not shown as being installed yet, but apparently they pre-installed that for this particular unit. Okay, so we gotta hold the hold the legs. So we're gonna take this guy. He's gonna have to go like that. More bolts. size washer. hammer. Wow, if I was putting this together at the store as a display model, I'd probably get fired. Taking forever. I like that. Okay, we are moving on to the tool hanger, which is already on there, which is this piece. Now we've got a support brace that needs to go right here. It goes on the same side as the tool holder. UPS man. This thing seems like it's pretty well built so far. Pretty impressed with the parts. So these are the 65 millimeters. And those top ones are supposed to be 45 millimeters. And I suspect these are 50s. So I think, gotta take the top back apart been watching a channel called Fab Rats a lot lately and uh, Paul's got this saying that I kind of like 
It's very fitting. They say they do it nice because they do it twice. I think that's a truth for a lot of people that work on stuff and fabricate stuff. Of course, this uses screws, so I'm going to have to go get a screwdriver. We bolt 12s are 50s. Bolt 12s is our bolt number 12 is 50 millimeters. That's what goes in the uh, the adjuster handles. They're going to go right here. It says to put a washer. number 11 so washer number 11 there's only two of them so I'm pretty sure it's these uh, cab bladed guys that's what it is so this washer has a shoulder on it and it fits into these indentations so it's going to go like that. Okay. That would lock our table down flat. Nut's gonna go on the inside like that. This flange goes, they go away from each other. too tight all you'll do is all you'll do is cave this stuff in if you tighten it down too tight okay I don't think it matters which way the tabletop goes Looks like the top's not quite uh, eighth inch material. Got four countersunk screws. So the nice thing, of course, about the steel top is not only is it strong and can withstand heat, but you can also ground stuff to it. You can just put your ground on the edge of the table and you don't have to have your uh, welder ground on your part directly that you're working on. Of course, anybody that welds a lot knows that already. nuts and washers. Metric adjustable. Alright. 
plenty tight. Okay, I think we're on the home stretch. Y'all probably don't probably don't need to see the box anymore. So I think we're down to the um, adjustable edges. So the table's installed. I didn't tighten those down yet. Let me tighten those down quick. These bolts and nuts right here, they don't use the, uh, they don't use a nylock nut because they're assuming they just expect you to tighten them all the way down. Or is this other stuff, it needs to move. This is a pivot and, and the legs can fold. So if we want to change the uh, angulation of the table, you can do that and then uh, relock down the adjusters. I think the vast majority of time, I'm sure most guys are going to have this, excuse me, most people are going to have this flat. I don't know if I'll use these guides very much, but I don't know. There's been things in the past where I thought I wasn't going to use something and I ended up using it a lot, so. Yay, the mail lady's here. Okay, so we've got our last table edge guide, the short one to put on. These uh, edge guides, you can move them. Well, at least you can switch front to back, side to side. But um, as far as I know, that's put together. Now, I still haven't been able to solve this mystery. I have this hardware left over out of the kit. So if somebody can put down in the comments below what this extra hardware is for, let me know. Because I just don't even see anywhere where it can go. down from here. I know it's getting dark outside. Just making it dark in here. But uh, yeah. That be the table. And if some of y'all are Kind of watch my 
crappy YouTube channel, which I don't force anybody to watch. This is strictly for fun. So what I bought this for, because as I mentioned earlier, I'm tired of welding on the garage floor on my hands and knees. We're uh, getting ready to do a manual transmission conversion on my son's Crown Victoria. And now many of you probably know that Crown Victorias were never ever offered in a manual transmission. So basically it's done with uh, uh, using Mustang parts and a Mustang transmission TR3650. So one of my welding projects that I got to get done to make that happen is this is a brand new Crown Victoria non non power adjustable brake pedal assembly. This is a brake and clutch uh, pedal box out of a New Edge Mustang. And basically we are going to be grafting this tube. Uh, out of the Mustang unit and grafting it onto the Crown Vic unit with the quadrant. And um, I gotta move this pedal, the pedal pad and the metal piece get swapped out for the automatic unit. So this, this guy will go onto here and then this pedal will be obviously over here next to this one on the Crown Vic unit. But, most of you that are watching this ta uh, table build probably don't give a flying rat's ass about that. And that's okay, that's cool. But I just wanted to say it's the reason why I bought this table. So yeah, Harbor Freight, Chicago Electric. Um, I think it was, I might be wrong on this, I think it was either $69 or $79. I'll uh, take a look back in the uh, receipts and see how much it was. And maybe I'll try and put a link down in the description below. But I bought this table with my own hard-earned money. Nobody gives me stuff for free. So if it's a piece of crap and I end up not liking it, I'll let you guys know. But I think this table is going to be kind of handy. And, like, you know, it, uh, it's nice being said it's portable and foldable so I can get it out of the way when it's not in use. So once again, got any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below. I try and get back to just about everybody that I possibly can. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.